trust me guys i did not get on here to cry i mean like i didn't know i didn't get on here to cry you are loved you are valued you are cherished you are appreciated you are adored you are treasured you are my family by the heart and i hope to officially make you my daughter aunt mary Welcome to my channel, my name is Kind Joy. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to actually be opening up all of the gifts that I got from my aunt for Christmas. Now I've seen all these gifts already, but I wanted to make this video extra special for her and to show you guys what she got me. She um, recently visited for nine days from Texas for Thanksgiving, it was our first Thanksgiving together. So it was amazing. If you haven't seen that vlog, and she left me a letter that she wanted me to read and i'm going to share that letter with you guys she did tell me it might make me cry so let me let me go get some tissues real quick hang on let me go get a box of tissues just in case <clears throat> all right i got my tissues i actually kind of want to let me zoom in a little bit i want to be a little bit closer can we zoom in just a tad just a bit can see everything okay and you know I had to dress for the occasion so that's why I'm in this like little Santa outfit okay <clears throat> my precious Connie you amaze me every day the more that we talk the more that I am aware eh, I'm sorry <laughs> you know how your brain reads words that aren't there because based on like the lettering it just thinks it knows what it's about to read and it's wrong let me start over my precious Connie you amaze me every day the more that we talk the more that I am in awe of you. Thank you for choosing me as your aunt slash mother. I am so very honored. I'm so very sorry that Lorraine did not cherish and treasure you as she so dearly deserved. I promise to cherish you and treasure you every day for the rest of my life. Oh God, I am about to cry. <laughs> I will help you heal from every hurt that she inflicted on you and allowed others to inflict on you. She did not deserve you. I hope I don't cry. Cause this eye is gonna bleed into my eyes, it's gonna burn. I will do everything in my power to make sure that you feel loved and valued every day. I promise that for the rest of my life that I will love, cherish, value, nurture, encourage, and support you in every area of your life. You give me so much that I have never had in my life. We have such a close and awesome relationship and it will continue to grow and bloom. Thank you for my first real family Thanksgiving. Um, thank you for inviting me and your Christmas pictures and video. Thank you for my first time of being a part of matching shirts and PJs. Sorry. Look, Auntie, your handwriting's not the best, all right? More than anything, thank you for being in my life and a daughter to me. There are not enough words to fully express how thankful I am for you and the amazing gift that you are in my life. I hope that it works out for you to visit me for your birthday weekend. I would love the opportunity to celebrate your birthday with you in person. I love you, Connie. Thank you for the gift of you in my life. I thank God for loving me so much to gift you to me. Love and cherish you, Aunt Mary slash Mom. Now that didn't make me cry, but what I'm about to read right now is gonna probably make me cry. You are... Whew. Trust me guys, I did not get on here to cry. I mean like, I didn't know, I didn't get on here to cry. You are loved, you are valued, you are cherished, you are appreciated, 
You are adored, you are treasured, you are my family by the heart, and I hope to officially make you my daughter, Aunt Mary. So, oh, this is burning. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is starting to burn. This is starting to burn. Please. So I wasn't expecting on telling you guys in this video, but I may as well based on the letter that my aunt left for me. Um, my aunt has come from a family where she had problems too, and I came from a very, very destructive, poisonous, damaging, damned family um, in foster care. And my biological family is pretty much all gone. And I was in foster care for a reason. So I'm not proud of my biological last name. I'm not proud of my foster last name. So me and my aunt decided that we would change our last names to the same last name. And in the next upcoming months, she is going to adopt me and give me a, a real mom, be my mother. And this is one of the best friends of my foster mom who did not know anything that was going on in my childhood. If you guys haven't seen my Liberated Femme videos, um, they're all about my childhood and about child, um, child abuse, I'll just say that. Um, all types of child abuse that I went through for years and years and years of my life. Um, and uh, my foster mom knew about all, she, she knew all about that. So, um, I don't have any attachment to my current last name. I'm not, it's not who I am, it's just something that happened to me. Circumstantially, obviously, when you get adopted, you take on that last name. But everything great that I do and good that I do and everything that I achieve and accomplish, I don't want that my success to be tied to that last name and people to think that if they meet another McNair, that I didn't come from a really crappy place. I don't want them to benefit off of just having the same last name as me. Because I know, I know I'm going places and I know I'm doing amazing things. And I just want to move on with my life. I made my videos about that, I made my videos about them, I mean, and I'm not opposed to what we're gonna do. So, at some point in time this year, I will be adopted at 33 years old and have a real mom that cares about me and loves me and looks after me and does everything for me that she possibly can. Like, there's nothing that I can't tell my Aunt Mary, there's nothing that I can't express with her, there's nothing that I can't do with her, like, we have so many plans for the next year and I'm so excited and every single time something happens in my life that I don't know the details of how to figure out I tell her and she's right online researching and giving me all these connections and resources and her friends are so amazing that's why I call her friends my aunts because it's a whole army of women that love and care about me so passionately and at first it was really awkward to me because I've never had anybody care and love me the way that they love me. Especially not my Aunt Mary. Like, nobody's ever loved me like that. Nobody. Nobody. No adult has ever loved me that way when I was a child growing up. Nobody. So for somebody to love me like that and tell me that I deserve it after everything that I've been through, it's... I wouldn't give that up for the world. But let's get into this video about me showing you guys what exactly I got for Christmas from my Aunt Mary. Because she's so amazing. So, if you watched my Thanksgiving vlog, you guys know that basically each and every day that my aunt was here for nine days, she gave me a gift every single day. Every single morning she gave me a gift. And then the day before, I think no, yeah, her, the day before her last day, she gave me several gifts. And every single morning she wrote me a card. She hand wrote me a card every single morning. So let's go with the first one. I'm just gonna lean forward and show you guys what it actually is. So this one is a mirror and it says she is strong, Proverbs 3125. Very handy, obviously very handy. And she knows that I'm obsessed with jewelry. So these are the earrings that she got me. I'm really into costume jewelry. I haven't had a lot of time right now, like lately. We're working overnight to get into everything that I used to get into with this accessorizing, but we're gonna get back to that. Then I opened this box, that's the only reason why the box looks like this, but she got me this FlexView smartphone holder. 
so that when I go live, I don't I can be hands free. And also when I spend hours on TikTok at 3 a.m. watching obsessively, and I tried this one. Let me just tell you, this is amazing. Have you ever dropped your phone on your face because you're dozing off and holding it and you just drop it on your face? Oh, I'm surprised that I haven't like lost more teeth or I haven't blacked my own eye out with dropping my cell phone on my face. I have used this and I love it. So this is what it looks like. You guys need to get one of these, hands free. Okay, now. Ooh, you need to, the jewelry. So, she got me these customized bracelets that were handmade in California, I believe. And I love these. I just want to find the right, I just don't want, I, all I do is wear scrubs seven days a week. I wear literally seven days a week now. I don't want to waste them wearing them to work. But they're beautiful and I absolutely love all the, the detail. I love the detail. I love the detail in this. I love it and I love how unique they are because they're custom. No one else has my bracelets, except for me. Okay, next step. Okay. So, this is a pair of earrings that she got me. And they're music symbols because she knows I love to sing. They're so cute and she knows they're so they're just really cute and they're quaint and I like that. I love that about this. This is one of my favorite gifts. I know what it is. She got me a beautiful, beautiful ring. And I forgot what the name, I forgot what type of um stone that's this is inside um i forgot what type of stone it is i'll get back to you guys on that one i forgot what kind of stone it is but like i wear this ring every single day i just put it back in the box for this video so now that you've seen it let me just put it back on my finger thanks then she got me these earrings i love something that glitzes Glitz and glam, I love glitz and glam. Anything shiny makes me happy, I'm like a raccoon. I love them. Oh, they look so good on me too. Sorry. And she got me these earrings now. Glitz and glam, love it, love it. Love it. I do not care if it's fake or real, I like my costume jewelry. But my ring is real. And there's more jewelry that I have to show you guys that is real. But she grabbed some things that she just knew I was gonna love. Then she got me this dashboard camera um, for vlogging in the car because she noticed I don't have like the um, the mount in my car for my camera that I'm filming on right now. And I haven't used this yet because I'm still on a rental. Ooh, we didn't talk about the rental that I'm in right now. Ooh, we get, that's a whole different video. I'm not gonna use this in my rental right now, but we'll talk about why I'm in a rental in another video. But this is what it looks like. Cause she knows that I'm into content creating. So got me a gift for that. I can't believe there's so much stuff to open. This is insane. I'm looking back now like, oh my gosh. Oh my God. so many things okay so more on jewelry she got me these Christmas earrings I love these little bows but I love these candy canes too nice and fast if I can wear this on Christmas morning and then she got me these hoops they're really cute oh I broke the bag oh my wait it's okay these are really pretty I really like these can you can you focus on, can you focus on, how close do I have to be for you to focus, camera? Focus! Focus, 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 focus. This camera's taking one to throw away, and I can't throw it because right now, I don't, can't buy another one right now. These, they're silver hoops, they're really pretty. You guys can see all this jewelry and the upcoming videos of me wearing them. Next, we have 
There's some more stuff in each bag. It's insane. Next we have these earrings. They're heart-shaped earrings. Simple, but less is more. These are like one of my favorite earrings. This is like one of the first gifts she gave me when she got here. I love rose pink. I love rose pink. It's like my favorite. Now these are like really, really pretty. There's a little pearl inside them and there's a ring outside, like a hoop outside of it. And then there's rhinestones inside of that hoop, that little ring. They're elegant, they're simple, they're cute. I love to accessorize. We can't focus, why can't we focus? There we go. Okay. Last but not least, I never thought I would get tired of opening gifts for myself. Last but not least. Hey, wait, I missed this one. I found that. Okay. So because I've already worn this, this is the only reason why it's not packaged. Because I wear this every single day. My aunt got me this beautiful necklace. There's two hearts attached to it. And the little gold heart is supposed to be me, and the heart with rhinestones is supposed to be her holding me. And she got me these matching earrings that go with them. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see these at all. I don't know. I will have to zoom it in. I'll, I'll come in when I finish. I'll show you a close up with that bracelet. And then, this necklace which is gorgeous. She got me that. So, those are all the gifts that my aunt got me for Christmas. And I love every single one of them. I'm just gonna find the time to use them all. But, those are the gifts that I got for my aunt for Christmas. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too sappy for you. And I hope to see you guys all in the very next video. I love you. Bye-bye. I'm not done. I forgot one focus, focus. I forgot one last gift. I'm so sorry. I put it underneath the tree. <laughs> um, so because... As you guys know, I spend most of my time in my bedroom editing um, and sleeping and stuff in my face. So, my Aunt Mary also got me this pillow for editing. So when I edit, I can be comfortable. And I gotta say, I love that pillow. It's so supportive of my back. My back sucks. So, now this video is officially over. Those are all the gifts that my aunt got me for Christmas. Enjoy your holidays, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Santa, I've been good this year. Make your list and check it twice. I'll leave you a note right here. Underneath the Christmas lights. Carols and bells, none of them help. I still feel blue. I just wanna in love this Christmas mm -hmm. I don't need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop and You can't put it on your sleigh You know me so well Nobody else